Pastor Liz of the Women of Purpose Global Ministries teaches the Word of God in a refreshing way that will surely bless you. This is the Word for the Now. Take a listen. We are so used to doing our own thing. We mm-hmm. want to go and give it to them, tell them, you know, us, you know, so we want to do all that. <laughs> you know, yeah. I give a good example. I didn't really understand, I think, faith before this situation hit me. So there was a season mm-hmm. where the Lord said to me, I graduated college and, you know, it's one of the big fears when you have a college degree. You don't want to spend all that money and don't have a job, right? Mm-hmm. So you're in college and you have all your plans. You want this kind of job, you want to live here, you want this car, all of those things. So I was there. I was waiting. So I came to Abiding Word and I left uh, maybe close to Christmas or whatever, 2018. And I remember I was waiting for a job because clearly I, I won't have a college degree and just do just anything. That don't make sense, right? And I remember somebody contacted me and they're like, oh, you know, I have this position and it's waiting for you. When are you coming back? I said, two months from now. They said, I'll wait. This position is yours. It's waiting for you. I was celebrating. I was in church. (laughs) I was praising God. Testimony, test. I was happy. The Lord said in the middle of the praise and worship, he didn't even let the service finish. He didn't get to the sermon. He said, will you give up that job for me? I'm going to be honest. I sat down. (laughs) <laughs> I sat down in the middle of the praise and worship. And if you know me, you know I love worship. I sat down because I said, uh-uh, I need, this needs my full attention. What? <laughs> and I was having this conversation. I don't think I heard the sermon for that Sunday. Because I was like, I cannot understand. I said, Lord, what do you mean? I said, Lord, I can have the job first before you try to ask me to give it up. Like, I don't have it yet. You know, it's there waiting on me, but I haven't gotten a paycheck yet. I haven't gotten to gotten a chance to put on my work clothes one day yet and put on my pretty shoes. I haven't gotten a chance to do my hair. Like I haven't gotten a chance to do anything yet. And you want me to give it up? I was like, Lord, that don't make sense. And he's like, you know me as provider, but I want you to know me as source. And that, I mean, the Lord knows us. He knows us so well. That is probably the hardest thing. You can ask me to do because um, being somebody, you know, how I went to college, I worked to kind of put myself through that and all of that. So I'm very independent and that I've learned that I, that keeps me secure knowing that, okay, I can do this and I have that paycheck, but the Lord doesn't like that. I know. It's okay to have the paycheck if you rely on him more than the paycheck. But when you rely on the paycheck, that's Mm -hmm. a problem. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know me as provider because I provide the paycheck, but I want you to know me as source, source. without the paycheck. I said, but that don't make no sense. I said, God, I can't go to the supermarket and tell the, the, the cashier you won't go and pay for it. I, I did not. I mean, I was, listen, I don't know about you. I was having a real conversation because I did not did. understand. I said, Lord, how are the bills going to be paid? And he was sending me to Genesis. I said, hold on. They were traveling. They didn't have homes and cars right. and student loans. I, I, they, they did not live my life. They don't have my struggles. Yeah. I mean, I don't see you sending from manna from heaven now. So who am I going to eat? I, I didn't understand. He said, don't you sing that? And he started bringing songs to me. He said, you say I'm the unchanging God. I'm the mm-hmm. same God yesterday, today. I said, yeah, but hold on. And he said, you say I can't fail. I said, yes, but hold. And he said, I was like, oh my God. And he was bringing all his words back to me. And I said, I guess this is where you either trust the word or you don't, right? I was in a sticky position. It was like, do you believe me or don't you believe me? I said, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to go to the supermarket without money. I don't understand how it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Fine. I was stubborn for a bit. Mm -hmm. I went to the job. I went to like one event because it was... um, I was supervising a team of brand ambassadors. Oh, it was an amazing position. It was a position that I really wanted. Yada, 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 whatever. So I went to this one event. I was supervising a lovely team at this very, very, very exclusive event. It was amazing. And the Lord sucked the desire out of it. <laughs> it was horrible. I did not enjoy it. The event was amazing. I did not enjoy it. Yeah. It was horrible. I was in an amazing outfit. It was amazing. I don't even know what happened to that money. I think I, you know, when it's like food has lost its flavor, and it's, it's like the money. Yes, I was, oh. yes, yes. I was like, Lord, did you really suck the desire out of this for mm-hmm. me? So it's like, I can't even choose to have it anymore because now I don't want it, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but I still would like a paycheck. Mm-hmm. 
So I didn't go back. I actually told the person I'm going to travel again and I never spoke to them again because I didn't know if I was strong enough to turn down the job. So I just avoided the conversation. Yeah. But what the Lord did in that season, I, <laughs> and that season I just kind of went under a rock. I had my Bible and I just stayed in my room. I just stayed in my room. I slept, read the Bible, Bible. slept, read the Bible, mm -hmm. slept, read the Bible. I have my worship music playing 24 seven. I did not, I cut off conversations. I was off social media for months because I was like, everybody that talks to you, oh my God, people, the devil, the devil. Mm -hmm. People will come to you, oh, what are you doing? How's everything going? Where right. are you going today? Yadi, yadi. And I don't know how to articulate with you that I'm not doing anything because this invisible God, God told me not to do anything. Still. Yes. I have a college degree and he told me not to. It's not going to make sense. Awesome. So I just avoided the conversation. Awesome. Awesome. And I'll tell you something else. I don't even think my mother understood because she was in the yeah. house and she was probably like, this is my very, you know, determined, independent daughter. She's just sitting here for months. She's not... It got to the point where she didn't even see me. She would tell people she doesn't, she doesn't even know if I'm in the house. Because I would come out after she goes to bed mm -hmm. and I'd go back in before mm -hmm. she wakes up. Because I was trying to ask, I didn't, 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 I didn't want. know what to say to people. Yes. Because he only said it to me. And right. outside of my head, it sounded crazy and nobody understood. Right. And I remember I, right. <laughs> I remember I applied for a position. Because even in that season, I was in that reclusive place. But I was still applying for jobs. Mm-hmm. I just wasn't getting accepted anywhere. So I said, Lord, I said, Lord, even when I apply to the jobs that I'm more than qualified for, not even a call. I said, Lord, you did something. You blacklisted me. Yeah. You blacklisted me. Ooh. And it was so interesting. I remember this one company. They were so excited. The first day of summer, they were like, we're going to hire you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. One month later, they're like, you know what? Actually, no. I was so, man, when I tell you I was crushed, I was beyond crushed. I was like Humpty Dumpty who fell off the wall. It was so, I was broken. I said, Lord, this does not make sense. And he said, I'm going to give you a job that you did not apply for. Mm -hmm. Again, I come with my logical mind. I say, Lord, that does not make sense. How will they get to offer me the job if they don't know my contact information? I have to reach out to them first, right? right. <laughs> Because reasoning, we reasoning. think, yeah. we think we know more than Human the Lord, reasoning, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> and that was May. No, that was July 2019. Fast forward. No, it was May 2019 that he told me that. Fast forward mm -hmm. to 2020. I met. I decided, you know, the Lord told me that you know I should go back to school and all of that, which is something I would have never embarked on because, you know, again, got to pay for all these things. But he said, you know, my purpose is connected to my education. I said, okay. Because again, like a child, you don't want to do it, but you have to because you have to obey, right? So I said, all right, you know, I guess you'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. And I sent um, information out to the area that my school is in just to say, you know, I'm a Jamaican, coming to the area, coming to school. You know, if you know of any opportunities, let me know, blah, 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 blah. Ah, how do I say this? I'll just say it. So I sent um, notice to the Jamaican embassy mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C. And it was the secretary, of course, that got the email. The ambassador, the Jamaican ambassador to the United States, this is going to be such an issue when I release this. The Jamaican ambassador to the United States saw the email directly. And I missed her calls, but then I saw an email from the secretary. Ambassador is trying to reach you. Is this your number? I was like, ho, ho, what, 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 what? I was thinking in my head, I was like, who do I know? Because I keep forgetting people, right? Mm. So <laughs> I called back. And there she was. She was on the phone and she was asking me about my resume. Because what I did, because I'm proactive, I said, just in case the Lord is no longer blacklisting me, here's my resume. I sent everything. <laughs> I sent everything, right? Oh my God. <laughs> Even though it was about school, it's so funny. And my master was on the phone. She was talking to me about my resume and about my experience. And I didn't understand. But I can't question the ambassador, right? I was like, okay. Then she said, there are positions open at the embassy and I'm going to put in your resume for one of them. Mm. I could not speak. Wow. I could not speak. Crazy. I could not speak. And I, I came off the phone and I still could not speak. I was like, I checked the email. I checked the number. I checked the identity of the person. I said, okay, this is really the person. I was really confused. I was like, Lord, how? Come to find out, you know, 
Later on, I learned that the previous person that had this position passed away the very same month that previous year when he told me that he would wow. give me a job wow. that I didn't apply for. Wow. I, it, it, you know how people would say Jesus did a lot of miracles in the Bible and they weren't all for his followers? Because a miracle turns the attention to God and the power of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me about God now. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me about faith now Amen. because I you serve a God. You have experienced it. <laughs> I serve a God. This is the embassy. Mm -hmm. That Jamaicans worldwide contact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every day. Mm -hmm. For everything. Yes. She happened to see my email. It was not her email address. Wow. And she happened to see my email and reach out to me mm -hmm. directly. Yes. I don't even think she knows why she was moved by the email. Of and course. offer me a position Instead over the phone. phone. She doesn't know who I am. Yes. And I really did get the position. You know, it was... Yeah. Praise God, praise that God. That is the God that I serve. So you Amen. can't tell praise me God. anything God. about my God because Amen. I know he will do it and he can do it. Yes. And then I also went through that period of sitting down mm -hmm. <laughs> with Jehovah Jireh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? My provider and Jehovah Rohi, my shepherd. Amen. I did not starve. I did not die. I did not get sick once. Mm -hmm. I did not get malnourished once. I, I've been malnourished before <laughs> on, you know, on paychecks, what was it called? All kind of things. And the Lord can do it. Amen. When he says in the word that there is, you know, if you people can give good gifts to your children, how much more how can much I more? give good things? Oh he is serious. He, the Holy Spirit. he is serious. Amen. I am telling you, Amen. God is just sitting and waiting on you to say, do your thing. Amen. And he'll do it. He Amen. just wants that opportunity because he loves to show that he's mighty Amen. and show that he pop. He just Amen. wants a space. And I think sometimes we become kind of like divas and we become so self-centered and so <laughs> self-secure and self-righteous. We're like, oh, this is my life. I worked to get this house, you know, yes, and I went to school and I paid money. for this here. I'm like, yes, yes. The Lord said to me, none of it is yours. None of it, actually. Mm -hmm. The body you're in, I gave Even it to you. The very breath in your nostrils that belong to you. That song, it's your breath in my lungs. Yes. Hit me. He yes. says, none of it is yours. None of it. He yes. says, even if you got, get a promotion at work, the power is not yours. I am the mm -hmm. omnipotent one. Power Any power you have is the power that I give you access to. Amen. Nothing is yours. The earth Amen. is the Lord's and the fullness, the fullness thereof. And I think he just sits and he looks at us and he's like, okay. <laughs> we trust you've been impacted by this message. Please share your experience with Pastor Liz. The ministry's email address is wopglobalministries at gmail.com or call 718-323-2918. You can also log on to our website www.abidingwordministries.net forward slash WOP. God bless you.